this is our life <laughs> <laughs> hi everybody your midwest mom is here and we have with us the brian the brian so prior to the uh the other video we did do uh, you saw that we were in marrakesh morocco and now we are back home safe and over the next few videos you're gonna see either hauls or advice or whatnot but there's uh, two items you're gonna see from us uh, soon and one we're gonna get started on are you are you ready to be a guinea pig i don't like being a guinea pig but okay yeah okay so a great experience that we wanted to do or let me rephrase that I wanted to do <laughs> and that was a tent at Hamon so uh, I will be putting in multiple links and videos of uh, locations in Marrakesh to attend however the one we did attend was the Heritage Spa what did you think of the Heritage Spa it was good I enjoyed it um felt very refreshed especially for me it was my first time flying overseas so um there was a lot of stress built up and a little bit of anxiety from everything uh, especially trying to get to and from the airport originally when we uh arrived in <coughs> excuse me uh spain so um it was a really great experience for going in there getting massaged cleaned and we'll get into that. And yeah, it was, it, was, <laughs> it was a great experience. Now, uh, the Heritage Spa, and I'll have little inputs from their previous videos and whatnot, but it truly was a great experience to decompress. And first and foremost, we would like to thank the Heritage Spa for not only the professionalism, but uh, having their doors open. So if you saw the previous video that Marrakesh was hit with a massive earthquake. So I didn't know uh, until I got home from work, <laughs> got home back here, that uh, some of their um, vacancies or reservations had to be canceled because a lot of the individuals that worked in that facility had family that were affected by it but i didn't know when we walked into our designated appointment so they still even though uh, they had limited staff at the time they still gave a full uh experience uh for them so for that first and foremost thank you thank you for that now there's different areas of the spa events that you can have or the packages. I did the rom romantic couples uh, hamon and massage uh, package for two. So first and foremost, uh, getting to the location, you must know where you are going. And we will get into another video like that on uh, safety measures and whatnot. Just know uh, you need to know prior to where you are going, have stuff written down just to get there. So once we did, <laughs> my lovely husband was experienced to it because I kept a lot of it, not secret, but I wanted him to have an open mind to that. And that's the first topic or first advice, have an open mind for something like this. And that's a good question to you. Would you have preferred to have that experience when you first arrive to Marrakesh? Or like we did, we had it scheduled at the end. I thought it was best that time frame. Mm, I kind of enjoyed it in the end because it gave us some time to like get acquainted with our surroundings. Also, uh, the weather was a little on the warm side. So being able to decompress and cool off and relax after being out in that hot weather was real nice. I would have to agree. If you're thinking about having this, I would say definitely have it at the end because the walking around, the uh, experiencing food, the, um, if you're from the Midwest, we sweat thinking. <laughs> so uh, I thought that was a great way to bring cultural, 
uh, relaxation all together as you're leaving. So it brought it all together. Uh, so when you first get there, you get into a seating area and they give you tea, which by the way, if you don't like mint tea, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You're probably going to the wrong country to start with because mint tea is delicious there and it's very uh, forward, especially on the mouth, and then very soothing as it goes down and then also it hydrates. So, so it's great. It's a great way to start a conversation, is a great way of sitting and being in your thoughts. And that is what they want you to do with the entryway, the walkway, which had a internal uh, waterfall that was going off and you had the ability to smell the oils that potentially would be placed on you. After you had a few minutes to sit and relax, you are um, the main director manager of the facility will come to you and do an overview on what you would like. And because it was a couple's massage, it was a question on what do you want? Who's gonna get the foot massage? Who's gonna get the facial? who's going to, what type of pressure you want for uh, your massage. So it would be a great idea to think about those ahead of time instead of staring at each other going, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, me, or there's no clash before you even start going. But I wanted that. At least have that in a perspective for yourself. So once you are done with that initial, you go into uh, a room to change and you're, you get to do it together. So my first question, which I immediately thought I was being inappropriate because her answer was like, of course, um, I wanted to clarify. It's a couple's massage, we're in a home and normally if public locations, there's a men only and a woman only. And we went into a spa where they allowed men in. So I wanted to make sure that we are being appropriate. So, hey, Husband's here. My six foot <laughs> two husband is here. Uh, would there be a man that would massage him or uh, is there a different place for him during that whole process? They're like, no, you guys are together the whole time. So I thought that was a great way of ending the event there because you're truly having that experience together. I would highly agree, but I would also <clears throat> point out that if you don't like the smell of orange uh is it orange blossom orange blossom yeah um it's everywhere so um if you're not a big fan of that i i do point out that most of the spas use orange blossom as one of their essential oils and we enjoyed it although brian has an allergy to orange so it was a if you are allergic, I would highly recommend uh, getting the shot that you do just to ease a lot of that because you don't know um, whether or not you would flare up or what's being used on. And that's one thing we didn't ask while we were there of what was the oils being mixed with because we already knew that precaution was taking place. So I would look into that just to make sure you are safe. But you go up to the changing area where they have locked rooms or uh, cubbies for you to put all of your things in. And when I say all of your things, everything. <laughs> <laughs> and they also give you the ability to actually physically lock it yourself. So they give you a key to the locker. You're able to take that with you. So you'll be wearing a robe and some slippers and then you'll have your key. So um, even for my size feet, they were able to fit in there without any issue. And that's another portion. My lovely husband is so tall. <laughs> so there's steps and turns and whatnot. So you must be uh, cautious about where you are stepping because I'm short, so I just fit everywhere. <laughs> I had no problems, yay, I'm here. But, uh, he had to definitely dip down in certain areas of the hallway, dip down in the ledges. Um, the uh, designs or the, uh, wouldn't even be crown molding. It was just uh, the different aspects of the, almost like a Riyadh that was changed into 
a spa location. So there are certain areas of steps you had to be mindful of, of certain you didn't slip because the steps are stoned in. So be mindful of that. Now, first portion is the hammam. So it is your cleaning scrub uh, location. But in order to participate in that, they did provide um, undergarment. And I didn't say garments, it was garment. So for females, if you are hesitant on having upper portion of your body exposed, because it will be exposed uh, all the time, minus wearing your robe to go from one location to another, uh, you are allowed to bring a bathing suit in lieu of, but I was perfectly fine. They give you this tiny tube of what's going to end up turning into your underwear for the females and it's truly it in the reference of size it was almost a bikini uh underwear probably even thinner because they truly have to get in there and this is here so uh for guys uh <laughs> he always does this in the videos we're kind of used to it yeah you guys are used to it uh for guys uh oh sorry for females it's white so it is through once everything gets started it is transparent it it's it's it is what it is for guys while mine is white i would say the best description for the guys is a black um boxer yeah pretty close and it had almost like a paper mache uh material to it yeah not uh yeah it's like almost canvas uh paper uh very thick in it so and it is black and when i say black dark black so that individual has the ability to have comfort sitting there during that process between yourself and the other female that's doing it now during that process how did you feel during the hormone portion uh, i got reminded that i do not exfoliate my skin um she was able to pull quite a bit of uh simple terms dead flesh off my body dry skin um so it was it was very interesting to me that uh she was able to do that and then also um the warm water and she took her time making sure everything was good so in the hamon portion because it was a couple's there was almost like an l uh, shaped uh slat of uh, stone that had a a water almost like a water slide portion on top of where and a pillow so your first once you disrobe and they tell you to be comfortable and lay there um they first are make sure the water is a good temp i never thought to even ask for warmer because it was perfect at that temp and i normally like really hot water so your first completely rinsed uh front and back so you're laying completely flat against this uh slab uh front and back and the it was, it was almost like a, a oil fixation an oil base that was first laid on you front and back excuse me and she left the room for good i want to say 15 10 15 minutes and during that time it is warm in that room so your pores are opening you get to relax your um you get to zone out so that's why i would say do this at the end because you're not thinking about what's the next excursion. You're not thinking about um, what am I going to buy. You're not thinking about um, what I'm going to eat. <laughs> Although we always think about what we're going to eat. <laughs> but uh, you're there. You can just zone out. So, and yes, it is warm in there. Because you're going to sweat. Because all of that oil that's on you, you're truly opening up your pores. I don't know about you, but I started to sweat in there. And... After that point, 10-15 uh, minutes goes by, she comes back in and she rinses you off. But this time it was one for one. So I still was continuing to sweat <laughs> while Brian was uh, experiencing the, the scrub. So first and foremost, after the scrub, uh, they put a, uh, this, after, sorry, once they rinse you off of the oil, they rub on 
what is identified as a little scrub on you. So she lays it on you, she rubs it on, and this black mitt proceeds to come forth. So I don't know if he ex knew exactly what was happening, but I was watching and laughing. Um, the scrub or the, the, almost like, what is it? Like a, not like a nail file, but... Um, Sandpaper almost. Oh, sandpaper. I, I, I didn't want to call it that, but it, it almost felt like that when it was on you. And she is truly scrubbing nook and cranny <laughs> of everything. <laughs> so I don't know how, how, how far up did she go in your aspect for a man for being scrubbed? Everywhere. So again, nook and cranny. So you must put your amenities uh, aside uh, if you would like to experience it instead of being insecure about what is being touched and what's being rubbed and um, how things are being done because they were very professional, very, very professional. And the only time she was giggling with me is when I was making fun of Brian <laughs> during the process or uh, he was so tall that he almost took up one portion of it. And I was constantly wiggling around to make sure that he was able to be comfortable. Because again, a little, I can fit anywhere. So once the scrub takes place, you're rinsed off and you feel, you can, at one point, she asks you, do you want to see what I scrubbed off? <laughs> And thankfully, I used a loofah and everything else. It wasn't as bad, but she wanted to show Brian. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> yeah. But it, it puts you in perspective of how much more care we need to do of our, our body, our skin. Because, again, your skin is your biggest uh, organism or it's the biggest portion of your body. So you must take care of it. So I can see. Looking uh, young. Hold on. Ah, young. And at the end, they ask, do you want to get your hair washed? I certainly said yes. I don't think, did, did she even ask you if you want to get your hair washed? No. He, it's like that much family. Yeah, if you can't tell, I've got <laughs> almost nothing left. So uh, I kind of wish she would have done my beard instead because I probably have more facial hair than I have on the top of my head. But. When it came to hair, um, we were able to do Brian's and did you even ask for yours to be done? No. No? Hmm. I did. So you're there for X amount of time. Someone else was willing to get in there and wash this and take some extra love. And it was, it was great. And the cooling sensation of my hair being rinsed off was amazing for me. So once they're finished with completely rinsing you off, uh, first Brian got out first, and that's when they the true professionalism comes into play. He they gave the rope, they brought the rope directly to you, along with bringing your shoes, your slippers, and you're brought into another room where again you have tea, you have water, some. Um, cookies just to sit and relax you can sit on these on almost on the on the carpet and the rugs and cushions and just relax and i don't even think we really talked to each other we were just what in that space even though uh, like they had music, music was playing music was playing so you could if you wanted to but we just enjoyed that little bit of time so once they were all set for the next phase, which was an actual uh, massage. Like it was full on, this was another hour, hour and a half of the massage. And I elected a medium pressure. Which one did you? I don't remember, but I will say this much as a person that's over six feet, um, the tables are a little on the tiny side. Um, be prepared if you are over six feet um, just because you want to get your head all the way immersed into the hole and normally you'd have your whole entire body laying on the actual table 
but because the table is probably made for somebody about 5'10 or shorter, um, it does get a little bit awkward, but I will say this much, um, she was working with me the whole time making sure that I felt comfortable and that I had an amazing experience. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. After, um, I think it was even a better experience because you had uh, experienced the hormone. So everything was scrubbed, yeah. you were very soft. The skin itself, the pores were open. So you could truly absorb a lot of that, uh, the lotions, the oils that was being utilized. And when I left my skin, and even now, it's been a couple of days since we've been home, my skin feels still feels soft. Like it's, um, it was truly rejuvenated, which is probably the best description of it. I, it was amazing. And you were given two options, the facial and then the foot massage and foot reflex. Oh, foot reflexology. How was that? It was good. I, so because of my job, I don't, uh, stand on my feet a lot, nor do I put in a lot of steps. And because we did so much walking, which is uncharacteristic of my day to day, um, to the point where it's five times the amount of steps that I would get in on a weekend where we're out and about and doing things. Um, <laughs> my feet really hurt and I was having issues with not only my feet, but also with my uh, lower legs and uh, in doing so, they were able to really break apart some of that acid inside the actual tissue and uh, in the muscles and get us uh, back to feeling pretty normal. I would say is a good way to put it. It was definitely a great experience. If you are in Marrakesh, please experience it. But I did see online that there are Hamon experiences in the US as well. So if you can't make it over there, I don't know if it's the same experience. I, I plan on going to one that's in Minnesota so just to see how it different how it's different and i can let you know otherwise um if you're in the area and if you can squeeze it into your schedule and that was about a two two and a half close to three hours of putting that time aside for just connection uh rejuvenation and peace I would say it's worth it. And for the amount of doing it, it was technically 1900 dirham. So total in the US, it was $190. And we gave a couple of extra for tip and whatnot, but it was completely um, worth it. For $190 US to have almost three hours. And once you left, they gave us two soaps to go with us and they gave us two uh, scrubbing gloves to take home and this one is a gentle soap this was in rose and sandal and then this one is in ver ver verbena verbena Nurbina. Nurbina. So it's pretty much argan oil, shea butter, and then the uh, the oil of each. And they smell so good. I think this one might be for Brian. It's, it has more of a musk uh, smell to it. But either way, it's truly something to be able to have um, as a remembrance of it. So... Comment down below if you have experienced it or if you have attended the Heritage Spa. And in previous videos, I have said say a prayer for Morocco because they did experience a uh, huge event with the earthquake. So um, my previous video had a ways to show support if you have the means to do so. Otherwise, uh, if you're saying a moment of silence or a prayer, add them in because they can truly use it. 
But in the meantime, uh, is there anything you would like to say in relation to Heritage Spa or your time uh, getting loved on? Just say try stuff that's new to you and uh, you know, it's, it's always a great experience to experience something new. So uh, don't be shy and try and put yourself out there. Perfect, because when you put yourself out there and try something new, you, you're gonna have a great experience or at least a memory of putting yourself out there. Build from there. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I have missed you guys from the trip, but we're gonna be revving up again. But I wanted to at least, again, push out all these, uh, this gems of love to you guys to experience new. So uh, thank you for joining that, that love ride with me. <laughs> But uh, in the meantime, you know how it is on a one, two, three. Bye. <laughs>